We rely on water every day to water lawns, drink, bathe, and cook. But have you ever wondered where that water comes from? Deep underground, water exists in tiny spaces between soil particles. Wells pump water out of the ground, making groundwater available for our use. Wells work a lot like a straw in a glass of ice water. A straw pulls water out from the spaces between ice cubes, just like a well pulls water out from the spaces between soil and rocks. Private well owners aren't the only ones who depend on groundwater. Many cities distribute water to their residents from deep city wells that suck water from around 1,000 feet below ground. But groundwater isn't just valuable when we pump it out of a well. It connects directly to many of our lakes and rivers, keeping lakes full and rivers flowing during dry spells. Groundwater refills by gradually soaking into the ground when it rains. The journey water takes through layers of soil and rock is like a filter that removes most impurities. This makes the water drinkable without expensive treatment. However, as we change our landscape, we make important groundwater resources vulnerable to overuse and pollution. To protect our water, it's important to understand how our actions impact both groundwater quantity and quality. Things like buildings and roads block water from soaking into the ground. When our landscape is dominated by these kinds of surfaces, they interrupt the natural refilling process that keeps groundwater plentiful. When you pair this with our agricultural, industrial, and domestic water needs, we can have a significant negative impact on our supply of groundwater. Groundwater works a lot like a bank account. We spend water every day on things like laundry, bathing, and irrigation. Cutting back on wasteful water spending is one of the best ways to maintain a healthy groundwater account. But we still need to make deposits to keep our groundwater account from going to zero. Nature makes a deposit into groundwater when rain is able to soak into the ground. The size and speed of these water deposits is determined by the local land cover, geology, and precipitation. For groundwater to be sustainable, our deposits need to exceed our spending. We can ensure a healthy supply of water for future generations by cutting back on wasteful irrigation and maximizing our groundwater paycheck with tools like rain gardens and protected natural spaces that help water soak into the ground. There are also a lot of things we can do to protect our groundwater quality. Everyone has a role to play in making sure we stop harmful contaminants from getting into the groundwater we all depend on. Groundwater pollution travels in cloud-like formations, often in unpredictable directions and speeds. Since many common groundwater contaminants don't have a taste or odor, you can't be sure your well water is safe without testing. Individual well owners are responsible for making sure their water is safe to drink. Deep municipal wells are often less vulnerable to contamination because pollution needs to travel through multiple layers of sand, rock, and clay to reach the well. Nonetheless, cities are required to regularly test their wells and ensure that the water is safe to drink. By reducing the amount of contaminants we allow to enter the environment and safely disposing of our waste, we can create a cleaner, healthier future for our groundwater. Here in Anoka County, 94% of residents depend on groundwater as their only water source. Our county has high quality groundwater that came from glacial meltwater taking thousands of years to fill our deepest groundwater supplies. However, our large population, high water table, and sandy soils make our groundwater especially vulnerable to overuse and pollution. Understanding groundwater can be overwhelming and complex, but by doing our part to keep groundwater clean and plentiful, we can protect our drinking water for generations to come. <laughs>